after tipping the shoe which i have done um the next one is just for me to put the design i would like to put there please note that this pattern i guess i just um use one i have already this is not the actual pattern i want to use i just want to use something plain so the design you're seeing in the middle of this pattern will not be will not be um will not be there so i just want something that is plain without any design on it and there'll be a pendant on the um on the shoe which is on this um, upper part that i'm marking right now so can see, i want you to see, just follow me through with what i'm going to be doing here so um trying to bring out the pair of the design i'm i'm trying to put there it is on this design i'll put the pendant i'm sure those of you already into shoe making will understand but if you don't know not at all i'm sure you get to understand that so let me cut this out now i'll be cutting this out now gently all right so please um whatever it, it is you don't understand they always try to um ask questions it's very important that you ask questions if you don't ask questions and i will not be able to know if you are getting or um, understanding the video and the teachings i'm making so please always try to ask questions in case you have questions so this aspect i've cut it out so what i'm going to be doing right now is to um put in the pendant so putting the pendant i would have to to cut some pieces of um paper in order to just put out this pendant but let me just trim this out so you can understand what i'm trying to so let me just let's check it out first of all to see what we're, what we're talking about here so i hope you can see it there so that's what i want to do they're placing the design on it can you see now so this is where the pendant will be placed on and um, let's just put that aside let me get my paper now i can draw this without paper i can i mean cut it out without paper but because of this class i just need to do that for those who do not understand it's always very important that you have the same measurement so i'm going to do um this measurement is um about um maybe a quarter inch a quarter inch uh, yes it will be like a quarter inch if i'm not mistaken but just um make sure that you have something that sizable what the major thing is something that will size into the pendant so it doesn't really have measurements that's the word it doesn't have a measurement what we go into the pen the um pendant so you can see there so now that i've finished cutting on the um, paper i need to just uh, draw it out on my piece of leather so the pieces as a reason why you don't throw just throw your letters away you need to get pieces that is related to that particular leather you are using for the shoe so right now here we go i'm already on it and um i'm trying to cut this out when i cut it out the next thing i'm going to do is to apply my gum so that i'll be able to get um, the exact thing i want mm. and um just quickly mark this out very simple just follow through and we're marking that is um in that two, uh, two pairs of this um, one for each side of the pendant you can see the pendant i'm using there on the on the machine there on the table there so you can see it so uh we're cutting this out with my remember that you always use a pure leather scissors because they are leather don't use um the normal tailor scissors or person that one you know please do not use that it's, it is not as strong as this one i'm using if you can get the stronger scissors yes but please always make sure that your scissors are strong and firm in the hand it's very important in cutting your leather leather is not like fabrics so unless you're dealing with fabrics then you can use other scissors so i'll be putting this inside and um it's going to be very very um i will make sure that it's size um dependent if it doesn't size, i have to just trim it that's the reason why i said that there are no much um there's no exact measurement depending on the pendants that you are using once you get definitely um good to go so right now let us just, um apply our gum on the pendants just gently just a little gum please don't apply gum much on your leather it's always very important you don't apply gum much so you wouldn't waste gum gums are very very expensive now all right so um here we go i'm applying my gum already and um, once i do that and allow it to get dry then i'll be fixing the leather um in between the pendant holes where the um, i'll be attaching the leather to so let's just go through this process together and see the outcome what i'm talking about so um right now it's going on and um i'm up to the game once i finish this i'm going to place the pendants on the um 
the leather I just cut out so just watch what I'm gonna be doing here I'm trying to make sure that everyone who is watching this video gets to understand this video clearly please whatever it is that looks um, a bit um, difficult for you to understand kindly reach out to me and I'm gonna explain to you better so like I said earlier on the size of the order depends on the size of, of the pendant also the hole that is available in the pendant there's a there's a there's a strap hole there that the pendant is holding that's you, you can see the pendant that i'm holding very well so right now the next thing i'm going to be doing is to um place my leather on in my pendant on the leather so guys let's just hold on and let's see how this plays out so let me just quickly skype this first of all you know because the leather the leather is thick so i need to skype it let's you can understand what i'm trying to say this is what i'm showing you i want to achieve okay right on i hope you can see this very well now so remember there's an there's an extension at the back for the size i want to make since i don't have this um lasso, since I don't have the lasso i had to use an extension which those of you that are watching video understand already all right so um let me just create the size i mean the uh i know I, I want to stitch the back right now that's what i'm trying to do that's why i'm putting a mark at the back there so to know the place which i'll be stitching so you can see i'm marking this right now and this is very very nice in a way whereby someone need to understand this the mark I place there is to be able to know where i'll be stitching because i like i'll need to join the back together i'll need to join the back together so what you're seeing here right now is me trying to um draw the back parts parts as the back the back part in order for me to join them together so i'm using a pattern to draw the uh the shape the cuff shape remember that the back part has a cuff shape so that's the reason why i'm using them not just um joining together and doing the straight because the cuff is very very important if your shoe is not covered at the back the shoe will be pulling off please note that if the shoe is not covered at the back the shoe will after you've done that the next thing you need to do now is to stitch that place you mark that's the curve you marked at the back please make sure you stitch it on the line and follow the curve like i said the curve is very important if you do not curve the back of your shoe just like the way you brought up the pattern and bring it on the curve the shoe will be pulling off and um, you will not give the customer a satisfactory uh, job so yeah i have to just um make sure that i stitch this gently as you can see so now I, li I leave i leave some allowance at the back the, so i'm gonna cut those allowance away closely to where i stitch closely to where i stitch we can see it very well closely to where i stitch so um, i'm gonna do that to the next one so i'm gonna use the first one i used in um the one that's the one i cut already i'm gonna use it to lay on um, the other one so it is not showing very well this is not showing very well okay but um, I'm sure you understand um, what I'm explaining to you. you. Just lay it on the other one to measure the exact point at which um, the other one gets to. So you have the same measurement. So that's what you're seeing me doing there. Once you are through with that, you're also going to stitch the other other one to have the same um, the, the same size. So please, that's why I, I I prefer using this on it so that I'll be able to get exact measurement. Of what i want so make sure you set it very well so i want to not be longer than um each other because it might affect your your shoe at the, at the end of the day so the same curve the way i move I out the curve the other time the same thing we're going to do for the other leg of the shoe bring out the curve it's very important from the use your pattern to get the curve understand so be able to um, get your desired results so um once we're done with that let's teach now let's teach the same thing the same process like you did earlier on just make sure you stitch um this video is um on, on the portrait i apologize for that so what you just need to do, just rotate your, uh, your video in, so that you'll be able to have a very um, clear view so guys please um i hope you're understanding what you're watching and um please if you have any question uh make sure you send me a dm and um, ask your question i'll be glad to push you through whatsoever you do not understand so let's just go through this and the same thing and um, remember 
Yes, so the remaining allowances that I have left since I have done the measurement trio with the other um, upper, I'm going to cut them out. So, once I cut them out, um, this is what you'll be seeing there. I hope I'll be able to show this to you guys. Show it to you guys so I can see what um, I'm talking about there. So, um, this part on me. Once I'm done with that, um, I move straight to. Remember, I said the exact this, the, the mode I'm using is not the exact size. So one of the ways you can do this is just take your um, cardboard paper. You can use a Nora, depending on whatever you would like to use to bring to make an extension. There, there are so many ways of making an extension on the last two. Um, bring the last two and the uh, uh, the next size, which is size forty. This last is a size forty one last, but I'm extending it to size forty two, so that I'll be able to get. Uh, my result you cannot get all your mood that's the funny thing you can't get all the last you cannot but if you have the money you can buy them a set at once you know and you can just buy them so this is what i do sometimes now you cannot you like you if for you to use a size 41 um, last to make a size 43 or 44 shoe it will be very difficult because you will not get the desired results because the the last is measured exactly of the design is measured for 41 so it, it should not increase more than uh, maybe one inch or thereabouts so that is what's, uh, what we'll be having there so i hope we can see this now now i'm placing my pendant the pendant that i was making the other time just trying to show you guys I'm, i need to place my pendant now it's time for me to place my pendant i hope you can see it very well i'm gonna see it very well i didn't place my camera very well so i apologize um our views get better and better all right so um somebody just to, just for you to mark your pendant and now you're going to place your pendant on your on, on your leather once you do that cut it out cut it out lead to just cut that place just let there be an opening in that place where the pendant the pendant leather that's the yeah, um, leather strap that's holding it will be able to pass through so once you are able to do that then you are good to go as regarding that all right right now so i'm cutting it out and then you can see that i'm trying to place my pendant in between those places i cut out it is very simple it's, also, it's just something that you just need to use your discretion and um, you'll be able to get it right but the moment i place this because of the thickness of the um of the strap itself um so once i am done with this what i'll have to do is i have to just blend it i'll have to blend it out so that um it will not be so thick at the front and the that's what i'm doing now. i need to skive it just skive the edges of the leather so that the thickness will not show when you're lining it that's what i'm doing here with the um the, with, because of the camera placement please i apologize once again for that i'm still going to show you guys in all my other videos on what i'm um, now to do those things clearly skiving is very important skiving just means you blend you um reducing the thickness of your thickness of, of, of the leather that you are using so that's what i'm doing there so if you want to see my video on regarding skype i'll just make a video as regarding how to skype um computer a lot of people don't know how to skype still with your hands that's why i always say that it's not you when you have all your machines before you start the shoemaking journey we even without the machines on this machine you can start and do a very good job just for you to know the um tricks behind it and you'll be able to get your desired result so after that what we need to do is just put gum and let it let us gum it on the leather and then you are good to go as regarding that done it that what i just need to do now is to place my dependence on the leather and then mark it there so you can see the way i'm marking it i hope you can see it clearly um, so now the reason i'm marking it is so you'll just be able to place the pendant on it so i have to just cut the place I, at which I want to put the pendant on. I'm sorry the camera is not showing this here clearly, um, but you, you're going to understand what I'm, what I'm doing there. So, what I just want to do is just pass the pendant in between the upper strap that I caught the other the other time. Now, as you can see what I'm doing there, can you see? All right, so just make sure that you place it inside um, very well. So, you, hope you can see this now. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what we want to do. So this will be placed on the shoe itself. So we'll reduce, have to just reduce the thickness of the of the strap that I pass through that particular uh, line. We're going to reduce the thickness. So the thickness will not show on the, 
the um, the shoe when we are done. The skyving is very very important, like I was saying earlier. When you're skyving, it, it removes the thickness, and you'll be able to have a very very clean job that won't give you errors at all. So and now I'm just I just have to just scratch it. Then I apply my gum to hold it down. Apply my gum to hold it down. Is whatever it is um, you're not seeing clearly because of the position of the camera, please I apologize. Just send me a mess DM and um, I'm going to take you through it maybe during your practicals. I think my cameraman didn't do a good job with this um, with this video setting. So um, we're going to we're gonna work on that and we're send another video that will um, be a replacement for this so you will see it clearly all right but i guess you're understanding what i'm doing here so it's just something like just what i got to do today is make sure that the um the letter stays well on them can you see i've come them together and that's what i'm doing here right now also you can see them clearly now okay yes so we're good to go with that yes that's good so make sure that it is well laid that um if it's, if it's too tight you'll be having it um rough but when it's well laid it will be smooth so remove the thickness of the other one also um, that's very important that you move the thickness so when, when you're placing it on this after this what i'm going to do is i'm going to line it i'm going to line it so that um it will be very neat i'm going to line it so let me just get my lining and um that's lining later let's see where, how, it, how it's gonna stay on the shoe so you can see by yourself let's just let me just place it first so you can see by yourself all right so this is all this is what we want to achieve okay let me use the other um that's, that's, okay yes can you see okay let's place in the lining okay now this is what I was about. This is what I mean by the lining. Yeah, so I'm just going to line this, and then um, I'm making sure that the the pendant is not um, too tight. That is why you see me what I'm doing. You can see that it's not it's not flat. If it is tight, you see that it will stay well. That's all the things that you need to note. So application of gum. Right now, that's what I'm doing to line the. Um, the leather with the lining as I use it, I'm using the lining leather and the color is cream color. You can use any color you want, depending on what how you want it to be. You can use red, you can use blue, you can use whichever color that you feel suits you that will go well with your own um, design. So after this is just to walk you through. Please guys make sure you ask questions and send in your um questions and I'll be willing to answer your question whichever you do not understand. So and um, you know some people use there are different type of lining that you can use i'm sure using leather lining so that i don't have any issues with any of these lines that will get to be peeling later on and some people use the synthetic as a lining if you can get a very good synthetic that will not peel that will last very well it's okay also but you know most of the like um, i don't like stories that touches so i'm already coming this and um you can see that i just come straight on the on the lining and i'm gonna just um cut this out right now let me cut this out let's cut this out i'm just cutting it out that's basically what i'm what i'm doing there all right so and i'm going to use my leather scissors to be able to cut it properly well so uh, let me get my leather scissors that's what i'm trying to get now so I'm picking my leather scissors. Can you see the allowances I, I left the other time? So that's I'm cutting on the line now. So this is very easy. Just make sure that you go through the line, and um, that's this is what you'll be having. Let's cut this other one also. All right, gently, and um, make sure that your hands are straight, please. Straight cutting is very very important, and I one of the ways you get straight cutting is your consistency. In your work now that you work today you're not working tomorrow or you're working the next one month so you know you have to keep on consistently that's where you get straight um straight cuttings that's why a lot of people don't know about this um this job if you want to get straight cuttings we'll have to all right so what i just want to, what i want to do right now is to um draw the pattern for the strap 
I don't have the thick um, paper with me, so I gotta just gum this together. And this is what I want to cut out. Let's see how it goes with this. All right, just the back um, strap. Mm, let's see, will this be okay for me? Okay, all right, so um, let's see, there. let's see, because I know that I wasn't cool with that, so I had to pick up another one. So let me just um, do the same thing here. Just double my. If you have it, that's if you don't have access to very I mean, people that are a bit um, firm and strong, a little. So I get that to double this together, then I cut off my strap. So the cutting out of the back strap for the shoe, that's the placement of the back strap of the shoe. And the slant is just very simple. Um, look at what I'm doing here. Um, it's more like. Uh, okay, let's see. Look at, look at the back here. Look at the back here. I hope you can see it. Yes, we just measure it. It's something that you can just look at a shoe and just draw it out. It's not something that has to do with any design you want. It's depending on the, on the it's not, it's not, it's not a completely straight um, pattern. But when it's when you are uh, cutting the pattern from the top 